Hello there! Have you ever found yourself figuratively facing a blank wall or staring in the dark or feeling perhaps that none of your efforts are working well for you and that your options in life are slowly getting exhausted? Each time this happens to me, I get to think of the dictum, when a door closes, a window somewhere opens. Our concern, however, is, is that we can be overly focused on getting through that same door by hook or by crook, that we missed out on seeing the other windows of opportunities opening for us. The disciples in our gospel today were out to see all night fishing. We can only imagine the frustration on their faces as they were coming back to shore and reporting that they have caught nothing. The door had seemingly closed on them. But Jesus tells them to cast their nets onto the other side. And true enough, their nets were almost breaking with a huge haul of fish. Unable to recognize Jesus at first, the disciples eventually blurted out, It is indeed the Lord. Not only did Jesus lead them to a bountiful catch, the Lord as well asked them to break bread, partake of their cooked fish, and celebrate together, for they have indeed been blessed. Friends, each time we face a blank wall, and in our prayers perhaps, we may wish to hear Jesus telling us, cast your nets to the other side. The door in front of us may have been closed, but are we allowing ourselves to hear Jesus saying, something better has been reserved for you? Lead us, Jesus, then to where you wish us to be, to where we can better serve you, to where you know we may most flourish and be better disciples. Lord, deliver us from our many frustrations as well knowing that you always have a lot in store for us. And wherever that may be, and wherever you may lead us, is where we can more celebrate our lives with you. When a door closes, watch out. A window somewhere opens. And that's one bite.